Welcome to MC Bali Channel. I'm Nirmala Trisna from Bali, Indonesia. In this video, I am going to share most common mistakes that people do while being an MC on stage or being a presenter or any other type of public speaking. I am also going to share how to deal with them. Before we continue, can I check have you subscribed to my channel? Thank you if you have. So here are most common mistakes that people do as an MC, presenter, or any other type of public speaker. Disclaimer, this is my personal observation as an MC and also as an event planner. First, soft vocal or harsh vocal. Improper use of microphone. Reading the cue card or the teleprompter, word by word. Trying to memorize all of the presentation materials. No preparation or rehearsal on the stage to make ourselves familiar with the stage environment. Unnecessary jokes or laughter. Putting too much focus on themselves. Bad body language or bad gesture. Let's try to deal with these problems one by one. If you feel or hear that you have a soft vocal or harsh vocal, we can do some kind of exercise. Try to go to an open space, the beach for example, or mountain, and shout as loud as you can. This is ideal for you who are too shy or embarrassed to let out their vocal. If your vocal is too harsh, try whispering. Try whisper or speak softly. Try that exercise regularly and get your friend or your close friend and ask them to check on you, check on your vocal progress. Now what about using the microphone? Do take your time to rehearse using the microphone, either handheld or uh, headset mic or lapel mic, and try to walk on stage from corner to corner of the stage, up and down every way of the stage, and ask the help of the sound engineer or the sound guy to check on your vocal, how you use the handheld microphone. Also interesting when you are using a gooseneck mic or the mic that's shaped like that on a podium usually or a desktop microphone and we are not holding it, we feel sometimes or the audience hear your vocal is not consistent because you keep moving your head side side like that while the microphone is still there, not moving following your mouth where the source of your vocal is. So we have to remember where the microphone is. If you feel that you are not confident without a handheld microphone, probably I would suggest that you hold the microphone and make sure it is in front of your mouth. Hold the microphone underneath your chin. Be conscious with the volume, how loud or how soft we speak. And again, check with the sound guy during rehearsal how to control your vocal. Remember, be sure to speak in front of the microphone. Next tip is to always take time to practice and rehearse on the stage. Practice and understand the event flow. When are you speaking? How long you have time on the stage? Try to remember the event message that we need to deliver. Yes, we can have the cue card. Yes, we can have all of the words written, but don't read them word by word. Try to memorize or just like the hint, the first word, and then look at the audience again. We don't always have to deliver the words exactly as planned. Yes, we can play around with the words. So make sure we understand the message, we understand the overall script, and then when we are on the stage, try as best as we can to look at the audience. 
be connected with the audience. Don't also memorize everything. It will be a disaster if you forget one word or one sentence and then you jump to another part of the script, then you screw up everything. Memorize the structure and the key message. That's how I do it on stage. I write everything that I plan to say. I remember the first word and some key words. I try to memorize off stage and then I remember the structure, I remember the message. On the stage, I try to just take a peek at the cue card. I will try my best to say all the words that I remember, but also getting connected with the audience. I hold the cue card as a cue, not the whole script, not the reading material. One important key, always take time to rehearse as if we are on the stage. Next tip is always put ourselves in the audience shoes. Imagine how we want to see or be connected with the MC. We don't like MC who are only talking about themselves or not involving the audience, not creating connection with us in the audience. Understand the socio-demographic of our audience. Craft our script, plan our wardrobe, plan how we act on stage in accordance to that type of audience. Throw in some jokes only if necessary. Laugh only when it is appropriate. Talk about the event, connected with the audience, say hi, greet the audience, and always remember what's happening on the stage, even with the band member, the stage crew, with everything that's happening on the stage. Practice in front of the mirror, full body mirror, so we know how we stand, how we walk to the stage, how we move our hands, how we smile, how we move our head, tilt our head, every kind of movements we should practice in front of the mirror. Record and watch and see how awkward we walk, for instance, or how good we stand in this kind of way, something like that. So try to see the best angle of us. Try to develop our best body language, our best gesture on the stage as a presenter. So that's all. Tips from me, how to deal with the most common mistakes that people do as MC on stage. Have you ever record yourself on stage? What kind of mistakes that you always do on stage, even though you regret it so much, but again, when you go on stage the second time, the third time, you keep doing the same mistake. What is it? Do you have your own tips? how to deal with those mistakes, do share in the comment section. Thanks for your comment. Thanks for your support. See you in the next video. I'm Nirmala Trisna from Bali, Indonesia. Stay safe, happy, and healthy.